All right, Instagram. What's up, guys? We are coming at you live tonight to review the long awaited Hive RTA Cloud Chasers Hive RTA. Okay, well, guys. Hold so on, hold on. Wait till some people are in here. That was just a introduction for our replay viewers. No, it's the Cloud Chaser. Cloud Chasers Incorporated. The Hive guys. Hive RTA. The Hive RTA. This thing's a freaking monster. Red wanted to see this one. Invite him in. And it is huge. All right. Oh, wait, wait. Do, do, do. Who else wanted to? Oh my gosh, it's so hard to type. It's so hard to type when one hand. Hi, Mama Bear. We are inviting some people to come watch the live review tonight. On the hey guys. RTA. Oh, oh, well, I'm kind of sucked over here. I'm trying to invite some more peoples. Mass inviting everybody. Oh, he's live right now, so. I'll just invite you. It is a warm day here in Michigan. Yes, it is. It is. Hoy. What's hey, up? Man. If y'all could invite some peoples, because I can't just sit here and just keep doing that. But I invited a whole bunch. But tonight's review, the Hive RTA guys from Cloud Chasers Industries. Isn't that right? Yeah, Industries. Yes. Incorporated. Incor no, I think it's Industries. It's Incorporated. Well, I just invited them and it said industries on their thing. It said incorporated. What's up? It said ink. See? See? Ink. Mm, okay. Incorporated. Well, we are going to review the Hive RTA. The Hive. Which is Everybody's humongous. been asking Huge. me about this thing. I found them Huge. at uh, at the uh, Ohio Expo. Talked with them. Awesome, awesome people there. Very, What's very, up, everybody? Welcome, very welcome, good. Welcome. If you guys are uh, in the uh, Georgia one, I believe they're going to be there. If they are, and you guys are watching this, send them some love our, from our, from us. From, uh, from us. can't speak today. Please send them some love from us. Yes. Let okay. them know that you saw us showing their beautiful hive. Yes. Now, guys. I have been chomping at the bit to tell you guys any and all information I could about this damn thing. Oh, good night, Chad. Peace out, brother. I'm getting ready to wick it, so it just has coils in it right now. He just built. Now, What's up, Paper Mom? What's up, Army Strong? You open oh, up yeah, this here. Right. What's up, Whitey? You open it up, and this is your box. Your box. You can't really see it too well, but there's the indent for the thing. Comes with an extra tip. I had this little one on here, and I was like, Aw, thank you. This thing's a beast. It needs a big roar hole. So that's what I said. Well, and I that's want, what I did. I don't want bacon bits. I want prime. What am I doing? That is bacon bits at prime. Bacon bits. Oh, that's not the bacon bit. That's not the What's prime. up, everybody? Yes. Mm. It is badass. This thing is amazing, guys. I'm do a the down here. yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down because there's a little bit of uh, problems I have with it with the breakdown, and that's only with the breakdown. Now you got this big, big old thing. Like One look at the size. Three. Look at the size compared to my thumb. That's huge. All right. Let's get you some love. 
All right, so then you got the top here, right? This is where you're going to fill your juice up. So you unscrew this top there. The price online is about $70 from their website. Yes, they're seven, anywhere from 70 to 75 depending on where you get it. If you go directly to them, I believe Can it's 70 Can you use 70. mesh? No. No, you cannot use mesh, unfortunately. We'll get to that. Then you got those big old fill holes. I mean, this thing is ridiculous, guys. It's huge. All right, so then you take that off, and then it comes. the top comes off. All right, so that comes off. So now you're left with this. Okay, now this is Ultim, so it's a lot stronger than your Plexi. It's a, lot, a little bit lighter. Feels It feels it, more like it plastic. Feels, it feels like it would break, but yeah, it does. It, but it's stronger. But it won't. So... That's really nice. Now here's your chimney, right? So you unscrew that chimney. Now here's the problem I have. When you're holding this and you're trying to unscrew this or you're trying to unscrew any part of it, this ring right here for the air holes is so big, but it moves so smoothly that when you're trying to undo it, you can't really get a good grip because there's nothing really to grip onto. My so what I do, you. what I do is I take a drip rag, a penny or a dime, and the penny literally fits just perfect inside there that you can actually hold that and then unscrew. So. Austin's in here. Austin, what's up? All right, so I already went and pre- uh, did my coils. I've got a uh, 20 gauge. I'm using the cotton bacon comp wire. This is a 20 gauge. This is a, um, for those who don't, don't know what comp wire is, it is a nichrome blend with lower nickel content and with the same pro with some of the properties of canthal. We need to up these viewers. Do we give away a juice? We need some more viewers in here. We need more questions for this badass hive. I'm telling you, this hive is. I badass. don't know. We might just do a a, a, a giveaway. I think you want to do a giveaway. Yeah, I think we should. I think we'll we give, should get some more viewers in here. And, and we'll give it. Juice. We'll give away a juice if we can get thirty people in here. I want some more viewers up in 30 here. Thirty people, and we will give a one twenty mil away. More people need to know about this. I right? didn't know about the Hive RTA before. I didn't even, I didn't even, I heard of Cloud Chasers. I didn't even know anything about them. I have had people asking me about it, so that's why I went and got it. All right? So, I've got a 20 gauge 9 wrap at 35, 35 millimeter, 0.35 millimeters um, in my diameter. So they're not small, all right? Uh, they are running at a 0 0.15, 0 0.16. Yeah. Okay, don't hand them up too much. And that comp wire, guys, it is some strong stuff. Like. Getting my cottons ready. Okay, so this thing is ridiculous. It's 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 just it, it's amazing. All right, um, the flavor and the cloud production. You guys have seen me uh, here and there, um, you know, vaping on it. You've been seeing the plumes that are coming out. They're not small. I really wanted to step it up this time. I went, been doing Clapton's in it. I was like, you know what? Let's throw some comp wire in it. Let's see what it can really do. Did you talk about the screws? Oh, yes. Okay, okay so Mine... it's got a clamp style. It's got a big build deck. Like, huge. this thing is ridiculously huge. Like. Yeah. All right, let me. Uh, Monster big, guys. Where is. Where's what? My other RDA. Oh, no. Right over here. Oh my gosh, you just messed the light up and everything. I got it! I okay. got it! This thing Whoa. is a monster. My All right, to show you guys the difference, this is your your regular build deck. 
Look at the size difference. It's monstrous. Ridiculous. 120 huge. mils. 30 people. Start sharing this. Start getting people in okay. here. My gripe about it, okay, is the screws. The screws, okay, so if you're using your coil master kit. I hate flathead screws. It I sucks. Because the, 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 okay, mind you, this is going to tell you how big this thing is. That use this. It's like a dwarf. In you here. can't even really use it in these screws at all. Yes, it's like, like you barely shirt. get it, and it's like it, you can't even. There's no like you have all. you have so much play with it. It's stupid. So what we ended up doing is taking the other side of this right here, and that fits it inside of my screw just fine, perfectly. So instead of sitting there screwing up my. Uh, Time for the interrogation. Yeah. Where were you the night? I don't know. I'm always here. Oh, shit. I'm always here, so you're screwed. Fuck. Fuck, it wasn't her. It wasn't her, guys. She's clear. She's clear. <laughs> but, um, no, this thing is amazing. The one thing I do kind of, like, I think is a little irritating or how small the juice holes are compared to how big the deck is. And I'm excited. Because, <laughs> yeah. I'm oh. trying to re -wake right now. Oh, I can't so. wait to show you guys how nice this thing is if she can ever get this thing wicked. You got it. This is this is a, an art right here. Okay? Yeah, this thing, this thing takes an art form, for real. It's, I want to say it's a... And you don't put like, like these. This is what I'm putting in there, guys. Right eight here. Eight milliliter. I don't do my special trick on this one. Yeah, there is no Scottish roll on this one. You don't do the Scottish rolls on RTAs or RDTAs because it doesn't suck up fast enough. Use the bottom of your tweezers for what? <laughs> That's why I like my RDA builder and deep juice well. Yeah, I. Well, but once this thing's going, it's a freaking. Freight train. Like, I like to pride myself on being able to hit pretty big vapes. This thing starts to kind of choke me out. How Almost. many coils could you build on that deck just to do? I mean, because it just would be too yeah, cold in the it, chimney here. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Because of the chimney, that's what really restricts you. If there wasn't no chimney and it, there was like just a cap for it... <sighs> Unless you're extremely clever, or unless you unless you do some small coils, you yeah, could do some, some tiny, small tiny coils ones. at like twenties. Um, I think smaller than that. You could do. I think you could do two twenties on there. They'd be like touching. There's no. There's not enough room. This. Look at how quick that like comes. To okay, maybe slant. two tens. It's you could do two, two tens. The bonds are right, but you get to hold a lot more juice. Yes. That is true, but <clears throat> because this is so big and because the uh, the build is pretty high, or pretty low, I should say, um, I'm going to be vaping it a lot higher, so we want it to wick up r real quick. We don't want it to hold it. We just want it to suck it right up. So that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> Um, is there any questions about this thing so far? So there's the cotton so far. All right, and then you have these little... I'm not even done yet. You have these little juice wells. I don't know if you can see it right there. Yeah. That's where, that's what's sucking up the juice. I think it, I think they could have gone a little bit wider with it, or maybe, maybe it's just the... Uh, the cotton, the way we're putting the cotton to if it. If y'all don't know this, always fluff your cotton. Always. Because it gets like rid of like huge lumps. You don't want like lumpies. I really like the, uh, now these, oh, okay guys. So while we're there, if you get these things, they also have um, a bubble glass. To replace this. Fluff, fluffing it helps the juice flow. All right. Definitely. 
So I can coil wraps on any? No. I'll fluff in the fluffer cotton. I have not. I actually was just looking at those earlier today. So you too. never do? Try it. Because when you fluff the cotton, it makes the juice travel so much faster. And like you get, you're always getting like it's, a juicy it's, hit. It's giving it little air pockets for that juice to go through. And it just, it sucks it right up. But yeah, you can get different um, tip yeah, and uh, tip and glass. And the guy that was actually making them for it while we were there, oh my God. Yes, yeah, so they have There the are tip some beautiful, beautiful glass combos that you could get. Okay, now for this guy here, guys. Okay, so apparently that would be too much cotton for this one. Okay, so you want to cut. See right here, right here. You want to cut these at a slant, not too much, just enough to give you some. This is wicking by the unicorn. Yeah, this is an RTA. What's that, patches? So you, you guys get are like at this, nine. Like, so, like, you know, you'll get this little gap here. I know nobody wants some juice, I guess. Whatever. I guess. Saves me shipping. For real. I want, I want to do some stuff. It's patches is here. Is that Patches? The Patches. Yeah, stay and share this, guys. We will For real. Juice. 30... People up in here, and yeah, so I was going to do a 10 wrap at 40. Going to thin around a little bit. But it was going to be touching the sides of the chimney, so I was like, yeah, I want this thing blowing up in my face. I'm going to take her down a few, so I actually uh, did another set of coils. So that was fun. John calls me the master wicker. She is. She's, she's amazing. I don't know what she does and how she does it, but... Like, I'm trying to learn here, and I'm not understanding it. All right, now it I'm... It makes nonsense. I'm thinning it. Well, so I understand what you're doing. It just doesn't make sense to me. Four pool tables today. Okay, now we're going to shove it down in. Hey, sup, bearded vapor. Sup, bearded vapor. Hive RTA tonight. Review. Any questions about it? Any questions? Is if this, I do not know them. Is this a 28 or a 30? I am not sober. But I am trying so hard. Mm -hmm. I am sober this time. This time. <laughs> <laughs> I have been really excited about this all week. I was actually very upset when she was like, oh, we're going to do Twisted Tongues on Friday. I was like... But I wanted to do the hive. She's like, we can do the hive next. I was like, we better do the hive. Hi, Galaxy. I'm watching, Sup, but Galaxy. also wicking. So, all right. Now, you would think you're done after you shove your cotton in. You're not. It's because it's really tight. Now you want to kind of like back it out a little bit and kind of fluff that up and give it like a fluffy look. She's scary how good it, she is. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. We want to show you, because sometimes RTAs are difficult to uh, wick. I wick this thing the wrong way. John's the wicked time. it two times wrong. We'll see how she does on her second time. I think she's got beginner's luck. Right. Well, we'll see. It's because she's a fucking mystical unicorn, that's why. <laughs> We are using Cotton Bacon Prime. Yep, Cotton Bacon Prime, guys. It's actually not bad stuff. Um, 
We are also using the cotton bacon comp wire. Got to be good with those tweezers. That's right. Cotton bacon's uh, going to be pretty good. Base. I think this is a is this a 30 or a 28 millimeter is what? I think this is a 30. Look on the... Uh, it doesn't say on here, but I'm pretty sure it's a 30. There's no info on the Yeah, page. that is one downside, guys. There is really no info. You get the hive. An extra tip. This box of... This box for this little bag. That box for that little bag. Who am I to judge, though, right? Right. So, see how it looks still fluffy? It's not over fluffy. It just has its own little domes on each side so that it can, it's not compressed. It's kind of got a little bit of a fluff so that it can suck that juice right up. All right. All right, so we're going to be doing uh, the Happy End by Sad Boy in there. Guys, take note, this flavor is saving lives. Can, will, will, and is. Save lives. Can save lives. All right, anyways. And does. Juice her up. Save lives. Juice her up. Everybody wants to see it hit. All right, so I understand. I understand. All right, so we're going to wait. Thank you, it. Andrew. It's a 28. Hmm? What's up? What's up, straight out of vaping? You were so excited yeah. to do this. You need to search that stuff. I, I understand. I understand. Yes, cotton candy with strawberry. I should have researched this one a little bit more. I actually did read a lot about this one. And um, I guess this one and the Archon. Archon? No, the cent Centurion. Show them what have you're doing. The, Twisting it back on. Yeah. You've got a little oh, too fluffy. Oh, what are you doing? Hold on a minute. Oh, we didn't do our burn technique. Shite. Okay, I got a lighter nearby. It's okay, we've got this. All right, guys. If you haven't used this, yes, this is the cotton candy one. The set, the uh, happy ends are the, the cotton candy ones. Anybody that's doing any kind of coil building, nice little trick Makes here. Makes it to where it breaks your coils in quicker and they don't taste like poopy doo doo. Paul said. Okay, Bearded Vapor. Did I miss a comment of yours earlier? What's up? Did he ask me a question? My bad. I'm trying to keep... I started on that stuff. What are you talking about? Oh, snap. No, it's not a kid label. That is definitely adult-oriented because that is a creepy, scary doll face. All right, so I put the chimney on. If you ever get rid of that, I want it. Don't Take it's your going. ultimum. <laughs> Boom. Goes on there. Another piece, the hive part, goes on. The hive part? <laughs> That's what I call it, the hive part. All right, cool, cool. All right, let me get them all together here. I mean, that would just be the top piece. <laughs> the top piece, guys, that has the hive design on it. <laughs> yeah, it's the hive part. The reason it's got its name. All right, let's juice her up. So, for you guys, this starts the base of where it fills up to. This is not its extent. This is. It goes all the way up. It goes up. all the way up in there. All the way up. Sorry, just I had to. When they say it's a cloud chucker. They were not... They, okay, look. Cloud Chasers Incorporated. With Except a name Mikey. like that, this thing's kind of self-explanatory, I guess. How do you get a clear Ultim tank? I don't think you can get no, clear No, he said, Ultim. I have a secret. You know how to get a clear Ultim tank? No, how do you get the clear Ultim tank? What do you do? I'm listening. I'm waiting. All right. Show them the airflows, how it does the airflows on it. 
It does not. These freaking things are so big, I can see you, you through it. You can never close the airflow completely off, guys. That's... Okay, so hold up. One. I haven't seen the glass pieces for this one. All right, all right, all right. That's like as closed as That's it gets. That's as closed as it gets. There is no closing it all the way off. That's as closed as it gets. All right. Oh, that just got juicy because it came out. It was juiced up too. Whoa! Much. Holy f monkeys! You juiced it too much before you. <laughs> That's some flavor, guys. I think we got it on this one. Okay, so note to note to self: Damn. use competition. What? One twenty-five. Use competition wire and. That was just a little hit because whoo. that was a little rip. I this just, thing's fucking mean, guys. I'm telling you right now, vapor for weeks, fuck days. This thing's got the, weeks. I'm on gonna it. close the airflow a little bit. She likes it closed more. Yeah, that was that was the shit ton of airflow. This is the closed up. That's still a lot of vapor. I I built my own coils. I oh, got the mouthpiece wasn't even in all the way. I've got the cotton bacon comp wire, twenty gauge, nine wraps, um, at a thirty-five. <coughs> now Ooh. let's see what this bad chicken can do. That chucks so much you can taste the nicotine in that, and that's only a three neck. Wow. All right. Now, there is a little overhang on my voo-poo, but hey, I don't care. It's on the voo-poo, though. The voo-poo voo skinny. All right, so check this. Blow down so that you don't... So they can see the beam come out of your mouth. I was blowing down. Harder. We've taken some, Aichi fucking we've taken, wawa. Taking some pretty big rips off of it. It's getting warm, not too hot yet, not too. Oh hot yeah, I was so I was talking with the guy and I, you know, I asked him, uh, you know, um, what makes this so much better than other ones? He's like, well, for one, uh, you can run it at four hundred watts. The flavor is I was definitely like, there. What? He's like, yeah, we had it running at four hundred watts. So it takes it no problem. Four hundred watts. He said it barely he heated up. This thing barely heats up. That had to have some massive coils in it, though. Yeah, this thing doesn't heat. Like the base heats up, but the rest of it really doesn't heat up. Um, I mean, it gets a little warm, but <sighs> really snow. Uh... Don't do that. But do do a nose exhale slow. Your nose is gonna be wet as fuck after that. <laughs> Did it clear your sinuses? <sighs> Pretty much. Guys, this thing, if you want something that's going to chuck some clouds and catch some eyes and give you some amazing flavor, this damn this thing right, right here. here is this all is those awesome. and then some. I love it. It's big, it's gaudy. But... It, it makes up for it in its performance. It's pretty damn sturdy, though. Like, <sighs> this thing, it's its a heavy sucker by itself. It's a heavy thing. It like, is. It's, it's pretty heavy it's by itself. It's got some pretty good weight to it. <laughs> now, think this thing being down, so huh? big and the coils being so big, it actually just guzzles the juice. Like, I literally filled it up and there was, like, barely an air bubble in it. Now there's an air bubble. And now there's a huge air bubble. Yeah, the gold drag in that would be really pretty. The gold drag would look really so pretty. This is sweet. the Hive RTA. By Cloud Chasers Incorporated. <sighs> yes. Nope, Hive, not Haze. Not Haze. <laughs> hive. No, that's his phone autocorrecting it. Uh -oh. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Them dang smartphones, not so smart.
It's a lot of vapor, guys. A you lot. guys. It's I'm nice. telling you right now. I'm going to win cloud comps. <laughs> it's a monster. It is a freaking monster. You still getting good flavor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, see? The flavor we're is keep still... ripping on it, and the flavor's still there. That means we're not getting any dry hits. So I know my wicking knows what it's doing. I think what she meant to say is she knows what she's doing when it comes to wicking. My wicking. Yeah, my wicking knows what it's doing is what I said. Yeah. Man, that was a lot of flavor. The fla Oh, guys. Monkey. You don't even know. I will say, though, you mess up on wicking And it, it sucks. And you it doesn't get perform right. You get a bad. Like, start getting bad the sucker hits. leaks and you just lost a shit ton of juice all over your mod. And that's one thing I really like about this is like the the way they designed the uh the whole entire tank system. Yeah, I would. It it really doesn't um it really doesn't leak at all. Like I think this is the most leaking we've had and well, I think it's when more we when we I think it's more because I had juice in it. We, you know, did a quick like purge of everything. I cleaned it up real quick. And I think there might have been some that might have leaked into the uh, bottom. Okay, any RDTA or RTA is going to leak at first as soon as you wick it up because you just juice those coils to hell so that you don't get a burn hit with your first rip. <laughs> it's always going to happen. But this thing is... <laughs> like Okay, so I've got it at full... This is at full bore. Full wide open. All right? That's good. Oh, the flavor on that is still just amazing. It's starting to get a little warm now. It's starting to get warm now. Yeah, but you see, we're taking some now. massive rips off of it. Now so. this is uh this is this is the lower airflow full bore. Yes, please do. If I get thirty viewers in here, we will give a hundred and twenty mil of juice away. I mean, it's a little thinner. The the flavor's not as good. My mouthpiece for my combo could almost fit in there. Okay. It's huge. It's massive. <laughs> it could almost fit up in that bitch. <laughs> for real. It's getting warm now. I gotta turn this fan off so I can get some O's in. That's why my... <laughs> And she's like, you're blowing it out the camera. No, I'm blowing it down. That wind's just catching it and bringing it back up. But, guys, seriously, if you're going to any expos and cloud chasers are there, please stop by. Actually, I think they'll be Atlanta. I think they're going to be at the Atlanta one. So anybody going to the Atlanta, please tell them that we gave them a good review. I that... love it. I wish they would have give two yeah, yeah, she's always bitching at me. You've got the hive. I'm like, hey, hey I got the hive. <laughs> so, I don't know. He's supposed to get in contact with me to send the RDA to... Review, so that'll be review. nice, too. But I want you guys, seriously, personally, go there. Tell them how awesome this thing is. Send them some love from like, us. Like, we have the Kylan RTA. That blows that Fuck away. Fuck the Kylan. Freaking blows it away. Like, the Kylan is such a turd, like, even I fail at wicking that sucker sometimes. This one's a lot easier to wick so that it doesn't leak. Way easier. And the fan's still not off. Oh. I've told you I was blowing it down. Guys, the flavor on this is suburb. Superb. Superb. It's not. It's not. Looks like it's slowing down. Grab him. Ow! Nope. I mean... No, 
it just turned it back on. I'm gonna <laughs> kick your ass. I told you. <laughs> Supremo. Yeah. Fucking fan, man. Phenomenal. I hate being fucking. The cloud shit. production on this thing is redonkulous. Yeah, I do need to try the Kensai or Kensi. I do want to try that one. But I'm telling you what, though, this thing is. I don't know. This is the best. This is the I am best not piece. a big fan of RTAs. Um, I do have that Merlin, but that's like an RDTA. Now it is cooling down right now because, gotta mind you, we just did like 15 to 20 rips, rips at 125 watts. So, yeah, she's a little bit warm. But this thing, it hits, hard. it hits like a freight train. But it's smooth, though. Yes. It's a smooth hit. It is. It, it is a very, like, usually at high power, like higher power like this, it really um, gets harsh, gets very um, scratchy. Lie. The first two hits I took were a little harsh. Well, yeah, because you're not the, used to and it. And the coil was still breaking in. So that does make a big difference when you're breaking in that coil at first. It does give a harsh hit. But shoot, we already. Why are you raising it more? Dude, it won't even go super on this thing. I would not raise it anymore. Hello, Sherry. We go one thirty. I'm gonna full bore this thing. See what we're doing here. Oh gosh, one thirty. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Say it once, say it twice. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Bam. Anyways. Go down. I lost a little flavor there. I think we're well, going to go down to 120. Went, yeah, he, we went up to 130, though. That coil is not fully broken yet. I want to try the Wake RTA. It's it's adorable. That was a little hit too, and that's look how much vapor just came out. It was a little hit. Okay, that was still a pretty big hit. Wait a minute, let me see that. You don't even know what a little hit is. That was a little hit. No, that was not. A that hit. was a little. That was my little hit. <laughs> That's a little hit. Well, technically, it should be because every time I hit it, it goes to 1.5. Yeah, no. But <laughs> we're, under, we're under those ohms right now. <laughs> yeah, it's reading at a 0 0.07, but every time I fire it, it goes to 0.15. So, yeah, I'm assuming that it's just not broken yet, and it'll eventually break in, and then it'll work fine. Point zero no, he seven. said that it doesn't. He said that if it's under a point one two, it doesn't go super mode. My ohms are just at point oh oh seven. Yeah, mine are at point oh seven at the same time. But checking the battery, stainless steel. Is it? What is this? What is the cotton bacon? Uh the cotton bacon is a nichrome canthal blend. With less nickel in it. Amber? Yeah. The gates open. I'm going for McDonald's. All right. Okay. You got anything up there? No. Nope. nope. Yeah. Micro blend, lower nickel com. Yeah. Soon I'll be making coils to sell. Woohoo. Woo woo. yeah, that's. I might, I might start dabbling. I don't know. I got enough wire to dabble. These pretty for me. So they're just simple. It's just a simple coil build. I'm telling you guys right now, though, the hive. It's a beast. I don't. I don't know of a better RTA, to be honest. This this thing is a monster. It was easy to wick. Like I'm not saying you have to use my technique to wick it. That's just how I like to wick. I'm saying anybody who's wicking it could really get it. Of course, you're going to have, like, your first attempt that might suck. Your first attempt's going to suck. Because you're going to be like, oh, just shove it in there. Dang, that's a lot of wire. Damn. 
I think I got What's like. What's up, King? I think I got like fifteen hundred. You Can grab me my drink. Yeah. Definitely. I was giving it a second to cool down. It's this thing's getting warm. This is the first time it's gotten warm. Three thousand feet of wire is a lot. Mr. Coolwick himself. Wait, Mr. Coolwick, like the cotton Coolwick cotton? What, what? Oh, that is really warm. Isn't it? Yeah, that is really warm. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, it's probably not helping that it's warm as hell in here, yeah, too. Yeah, it's also hot in my house. Vape Daddy Cruz, what is up? Hi, RTA. If you don't have one, get one. Get they are one. awesome. I know. I don't quote me on this, but I believe that they're selling them at the expo like, for like forty-five. You make, like, I think. Cool with cotton? Is that what you're saying? I mean, you can't be late. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so hot here. <sighs> It's hard to fit on this little screen. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but. I've never tried it before. But I would not be opposed to it. My that. favorite um, is the Native, Native Wicks Wicks. so far. Um, I want to try this. I can't remember what it's called. It's like some like Samurai Showdown or some something like that. And it's all natural. It's supposed to be just as good as Native Wicks. Well, don't you remember me talking about the Cool Wick? The Cool Wick guy is in here. Oh. Well, if you're going to be in here and you're going to be uh, gotten some good wicking, uh, send some our way. We'll do a review on it. I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys if it's good cotton or not. Dang. Canthal ribbon. See, that's what I want to get is some ribbon. Dang. I would love to do some stuff with the ribbon. No break. Time heat resistant. Mmm. Nice. Those are always good qualities because I hate having to break the freaking cotton in. That's why I light my cotton on fire. Mm-hmm. You know what? I don't really care for RTAs myself either. All right. To be honest with you. Oh, definitely. Thank you. Well, definitely. Um, Texas Tough is pretty good stuff. I've never heard of that I've heard one. Of Texas Tough. I've never heard of that one. I, I'm I'm wanting to try the showdown. I've I've heard a lot about. It's, I think it's called Samurai Showdown or something like that. I've not heard of that one. I I've seen I've seen a, a couple people say that it's like the best stuff, but. You know, hey, we're always open. I, I honestly didn't think that the Cotton Bacon Prime was going to be good after the version 2 sucks so bad. I don't like Cotton Bacon Bits. No. No, that's the V2. That's the version 2, see? I don't like that one, and we just got a pack of it. Version 2.0? I didn't mm -hmm. like them. They weren't good. The Canadian Commander? He just pissed me off a bit. Oh, <laughs> No leaks. Hmm. Nice. Well, we're going to have to try them, and we'll give you guys a lowdown, I Texas guess. Texas Tough sucks, really? Because I hear a lot of people talk high about Texas Tough. I've, I've actually heard a lot. You talk like, you know, it's all right, you Mr. think Davis you then. find a good, your good cotton, and then there's always something better that you haven't tried yet. Like, Native Wicks right now remains on the top of our list. Yeah, if you guys haven't tried them and you're looking for a good one, that's pretty good stuff. But back to this hive. Like like he was saying, I am not an RTA guy either. I love this damn thing. Plain and simple. The flavor on it's ridiculous. The yeah, different strokes, different people, exactly. Um Maybe a step above bacon. Native Wick Premium. Um, yeah, we have the Native Wick Premium. Yeah, that's the good stuff. I like that. I, I really, really like that stuff. Um, I do find that the cotton bacon, like, shreds too easily. Yes, it, it definitely separates way like, too I, easy. I, like, fucked up on this one a little bit. But, like, 
Just poof, gone. Like there's no. There's nothing grabbing it. I don't. I don't like that. Now I would show you guys how the native wick does it, but I've got a little bit left, and I'm saving that for <laughs> something. <It's being> <laughs> Cool wick fibers are longer. See, that's what they're missing in this. But um, if you want a nice cloud chaser, it's a bad. That's ass. who makes this. It's cloud chasing. Clay, cloud chaser is incorporated. This is what they. This is what their whole company is about. What's up, Derek? This thing is ridiculous. What's up, Derek? Derek. The flavor that comes off of this for being such a powerful cloud chasing mod is incredible. It is. They they did a phenomenal job at this. You would think that because of the cloud it produces, you wouldn't get flavor. But that's bullshit because it is just fucking flavor. It's all <laughs> flavor. It is full of the flavors. Bill the crazy vapor. Sorry, it was like melting in with my shirt. <sighs> Mm. This thing is phenomenal. She's still not warm, but she's cooled down. It is a goo, uh, goo, a juice guzzler, though. Yeah, like, look, guys, it's already like up halfway. More, more, it's in the script. It's like halfway. You guys can barely see it. Here, yeah, I'll put my finger where it is. Right there. This thing. Me a bomb set. Okay, well, if you want something that's bomb ass and you don't have to buy pre-made fucking coils for it, that right there. This thing is bomb. Hive RTA. The Hive RTA, phenomenal. All right, thank you. Thank you, True Love Vapors, Draco. We appreciate it. And thanks for stopping in. Thank Have you. a good one. Later, guys. We do guy. use quite often, so... Hop in anytime. Sometimes we're just bullshit, and sometimes we are actually reviewing tonight, Kenneth. We are vaping on the Hive RTA, and it has Sad Boy, the Happy Ends. This is like a pink um, cotton candy. It is phenomenal. It is awesome. Number one RTA to this date. I don't know. This is like the cloud chucking. I don't know. This uh, this thing, this thing might beat that. I don't know. I haven't tried, tried I haven't the Kensai. Tried the Kensai, so I can't really. I put can't the really two put the two together. But I'm telling you right now, this thing right here. Gosh, you can't tell we're married. We don't say the same shit. Amazing. <laughs> you can't tell we're married. We're like fucking saying the same shit. Fuck. Hello, Sherry. <sighs> You don't even have to purge either. Let's see if you made her about all that amber. Good night. Good night, Taylor. I will. I will definitely message you. It is a chucker. A mother chucker. And I haven't gotten a loss of flavor besides that time I turned it up a little bit. We saw uh, a guy purchase one of these at the expo. And he had the Therian, Therian DNA 200 watt. Oh, and he got that that special made glass. It's a bubble glass for it, and so it his, holds more. His setup was just the most godly. Oh, of God! It was setups gorgeous. I've ever seen. It was so beautiful. <laughs> gotta go eat, babe, bomb guys. Have a good night, and thank you for coming in, and thank you for inviting peeps. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, Bearded Vapor. Hmm. Well, I have to try that Kensai out. We'll have to do. We'll have to pit them together. Very close. Okay. Yeah. We'll have to. We'll have, we'll to, have to. We'll one. have to find out. Figure it out. Have to get a hold of one. Up. Try it. What's up, Walker? What's up, my sister? Oh, I was like, why did it sound like that? It's because you did a yeah. mouth along. What? Show off. I do like, like, I will say this, though. When you first get this thing, this is intimidating. Yeah, because that is a huge Very flippin' intimidating. If you want to know how big Thank this you. is. Have a good night. I can put a, a tank band 
a vape ban around there, and it just barely gives a little bit of a stretch onto it. So oh a vape band goes around that with a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> it's like if it was the tank itself. <laughs> it's got overhang, guys. That's like ridiculous. Like, Hold on, I'll be right back. Here, I'm going to show you guys. This is a vape band, right? This thing literally, a little bit of a, a little bit of a stretch. Right over it. Snug. That's how big this damn thing is. Um, Kenneth, we're not gonna, we're not going live on a reviews. Uh, we'll probably be closing this one up here soon since we're not getting our 30 people. We've been giving a lot of time to try to get that in. Um, but we'll probably be going live after and we could probably go live with you after that, but. This is our, our, our review time, so we, we kind of try to keep it, you know, just based on the review. Um, you know, the only people that would be uh, welcome to join our lives during our review are who we're reviewing or if we who have a third right party. Now? Kenneth is asking. Oh, when we're not reviewing, bud. But what are you doing? Grab another RTA. To... Which one's that? The Kylan? Yeah, it's the Kylan. Where'd my mouthpiece there? Oh, and I took your vape band. That's okay. Just to show them how big the freaking thing I'm is. I'm going to put the Kylan on my drag. She's been sitting on the shelf for a minute. She's a big... I got the extended glass on it right now. Yeah. She's like flooded right now. Hold on. Mm. Ooh, that was so much juicy. Your knees in my. No, you're good, man. You're good. You're good. You know. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry yeah, about it. Yeah, just our, our reviews. We don't keep strict asking. reviews. Um, you're good. Uh, when we're on our live, more, but you're more than welcome. With to the ask. extended glass on the Kylan, it's almost as tall. With the drip tip, it's as tall. No, hold on. Bring yeah, I'm putting it base to base. No, yeah, you're supposed to put it voopoo to voopoo. Boom. Yeah, there we go. We got like a millimeter bigger on the hive. A steam crave. There we go. It warmed up better. Aromatizer Titan. Aromatizer. Oh, I've seen that thing. That thing is What's up, massive. Else? We're sitting here reviewing. Yeah, I have seen that Titan. That the thing is RTA. pretty big. This is actually almost as big. That that the Titan is uh, bigger around, but I think this is about the same size. Height, same height. Yeah. But that other one's basically like a dump tank. That's some. Yeah, that's a forty-one. That's yeah. That that's thing's a, a big fat. That thing's like a, a dump fatty. tank. It's a fatty. Yeah, it's a big, huge fatty. I I would love to try it. So I'll take a hit. That. So probably thick. killing my batteries. Oh no, it's so not. Thick. Good night, monkey. We love you. Thanks for Good stopping night. in. I know I did. We did this one really late, guys. We did. It was just too hot. It was too hot in here. I know. Still not thirty viewers. I think it's because it's oh Tuesday really, and it's a Wednesday. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll get lucky on uh, Friday. Also, if you guys didn't t check out our Twisted Tongue one, we are going to be getting uh, Twisted Tongue contacted us and said that they're going to be sponsoring our giveaway. So we're we going to be having, I believe, the whole line. And some swag. And some swag. I don't know swag. if it's the whole line, but they did say juice and swag. They said juice and swag, and oh my God, it's so cloudy over here. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
30 it's mils of juice. Working. Yeah, see, I don't know if I want something that holds 30 mils of juice. Yeah. That something breaks while you're on the go, and guess what? There's 30 mils of juice everywhere. I'm good with that. That, and I like to change my flavors a lot, so... Nah, 30 mils is too much to be vaping the same thing. And that's a, that also, this thing, put a new flavor in, it's like five hits and it's switched. It's awesome. I yeah, love it. Yeah, it does switch flavors really good. It's a, it's very, very uh, smooth as well. Like you would think for be having such big ass coils okay. and being so big. Going and back and forth. Getting so much. Uh, vape in your mouth and in your lungs and you would think that it would be harsh or it would hurt or something but it doesn't it's weird going back and forth from these two because this mouth is so small yeah it feels like there's barely any airflow to where that thing is like you're just unless it's drippy dick I don't know. I couldn't do that because then I would feel guilty that I just put 30 mils of my drippy dick into a tank. And then it just got and it was everywhere. Yeah. No, I can't do it. I would be <laughs> mad. Hit this. Because you're going to be like, it's slacking so much. <laughs> right? What was that? <laughs> That's like, like this drip tip, like I feel like I'm like sucking on a teat. Right, because we're used to the big mouth. Fuck oh, this would thing. actually. That thing would fit inside. Oh, just it does like, fit inside. Just a little bit off the edges, it could just wedge right in there. <laughs> That's messed up. I'm not saying the Kylan is bad because it's not bad. It's just not in. No, it does. It's not, not in the same league. It doesn't compare to that. It's at not all. in the same league. Not no. in the same league. What's no. up, Savage Kitten? What's up, Kitten? What's up, my chicky? Hive RTA guys, I am telling you. All right, I'm gonna try and do a big rip off of this. Oh, uh, I'm telling you right now, Doctor Vapenstein. I seen that you won that. Dude, you are going to be oh No. Correction. You're gonna be addicted to the drippy dick. <laughs> that's not funny. That's my that's my thing. I came up with that, okay. She did that. But anyways, no, uh Uh-oh. that drippy dick is amazing. Okay, ten percent. Alright. Try it. We are reviewing it's the really hive good. RTA right now, kitten. This but thing. yes, this thing is Phenomenal. This is a yeah. Blacklisted didn't want to listen to me either until he got himself some uh, apple, apple bags, bags. And, and then he was on the drippy dick too. He was all about that drippy dick. He's addicted now too. Addicted. But, but seriously, whew. we've been chucking. See, on that. Mm-hmm. we've been chugging on it so much guys I filled that thing up all the way and it's yeah. now when right all there the way it comes up to here it is right there so in just this time this thing sucked down that much but I highly recommend this to anybody who is a cloud chaser yeah if you're looking for a cloud a chucking chaser. some bitch cloud this is it. and flavor right here both of them this thing will chuck some clouds definitely if you enjoy a lot of airflow. Because this sucker, Apple bag was award winning at Vapor Palooza, best cereal vape. Yep. And it shows my personal favorite is either Knob Gobbler or I really, mm. really, really love their banana. All right, guys, we got 28 seconds, but I want to wrap it up by saying thank you for coming to the live. And if you're at the Atlanta showcase this weekend, please stop by and tell them you saw our review and that you're interested in seeing some of these beauties because they got lots of pretty colors. Lots of pretty colors. This is the bland version. They have ones that have all the good, good. They have the resin glass and tips handmade matched. Check them. Well, have a good night and thank you.